Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's free. Hi uh, guys, this isn't really going to be a recap and y'all, I'm sorry again, I've just been so busy, but I'm doing a double, like, okay, this is what we're going to call this video. I'm going to talk about episodes for The Real Housewives of Potomac, season eight. I'm going to talk about episodes, what, 13 and 14, which are sun's out buns out and then fool's gold i don't know one of those y'all but i'm gonna do a little double rant that's what we're gonna call this video i'm just going to talk about the episode i'm not sitting here going by scene by scene i'm just gonna give you guys my thoughts on this episode but anyway thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my recaps but this is going to be my first kind of rant video for both episodes but yeah thank you so much and as always i'm here to discuss the real housewives of potomac season 8 episodes 13 and 14 which are called sun's out buns out and fool's gold all right y'all let's get into it all right y'all quick note i wanted to let you guys know that it's episode 14 and 15 not 13 and 14 so I was just like, I just wanted to apologize about that. But anyway, this is just a rant. And if you hear noise in the background, y'all, I'm driving. So please excuse me. It's the only time I can try and record. But I just wanted to let you guys know that these two episodes, it's just so ridiculous. So basically in episode 13, I'm just kind of giving you my rant on it and kind of what I remember. Um, I think that sun's out, buns out. So basically, the girls really didn't do anything on vacation much, if you ask me. But the big contributing scenes that I saw was when Giselle was talking about her daughter going off to college in Florida and going to an HBCU. And so they're all talking about how the state of Florida is racist and, you know, for Giselle's daughter to be careful and if it was their child they wouldn't allow their child to go down to Florida because of the way the world is, like, politically. And so, my thing is, is this. So, Giselle's talking about it, right? And so, Candace and Wendy, they're kind of making certain faces at Giselle. Well, not, I wouldn't say at Giselle, but they're just making faces when Giselle's talking about this. And, you know, basically, they don't like Giselle. Giselle doesn't even talk to them anymore. She ignores Candace, and she barely even talks to Wendy. And so, I guess she felt some type of way. Well, actually, Robin pointed it out, and I'm just, like, sitting here, like, are you serious right now? And so what? Like, the things that you have said about these women, the things that you have done to these women, and you have the audacity to feel some type of way because they were just making faces. They didn't disrespect Giselle's daughter or anything. So anyway, basically throughout these two episodes, Robin's gonna call them out saying like, oh, you know, I understand that you don't like Giselle, but why, when she's talking about her daughter, you're making faces? And so it's just so petty and ridiculous. And I think Wendy was talking about when it comes to Giselle's daughter, after what happened between them, when Giselle said, I think it was like last season that Wendy was looking at her daughter in a mean way or something, which when they played the tape back, to me, she didn't. She's like, just got mad about that. But how we forget, Robin, when you didn't even invite Wendy and her children to your field day thing last year. So you, you want to talk about kids, let's go there. Like, it's so funny how we all have amnesia. But anyway, and first of all, Candace is like, I don't like Giselle. It was no slight against her daughter or anything. It's, I think it's like when Giselle speaks, they're just annoyed. Giselle brings the whole um, group down. They just do. And then, of course, Ashley always got to bring her two cents in it whenever it comes to Candace. Like, that girl is so jealous of her. It is so ridiculous because Candace is doing something with her life. She doesn't need her husband to depend on to pay a mortgage. But like, why would you buy a house and you can't afford it? Depending on somebody you're supposed to be divorcing. Like, what? Anyway. And so, it's just, 
it's just a mess. And I'm just, these episodes, I'm telling you, I think this is the, no, no, I think. It is the worst season yet. This season has been so lackluster. It's not what it used to be. I used to, guys, I used to look forward to watching The Real Housewives of Potomac. I used to watch it faithfully at 8 p.m. on Sundays, a live viewer. Now, guys, it's taking me days to even watch it. Um, and it's not only because I'm busy, that too, but it's because I don't really have an interest in watching it right away. And it's just sad to me. And this used to be such a good franchise. And it just keeps getting worse and worse each season. And this season was just boring to me. It really wasn't anything. And yeah, just, yeah. So then I think in episode 15, Kiana kind of gets into it with NECA when they were, um, I guess at the gun range <laughs> type place. And why did she, I'm trying to think y'all, why they got into it. Oh, they were talking about Wendy. And so basically Kiana was explaining, you know, sorry y'all. So back to what I was saying. Sorry, I got cut off. Um, so yeah, Kiana and Wendy kind of get into it because Kiana brings up, um, I guess the whole thing between NECA and Wendy and so basically Karen was saying that you know Wendy has to take time for herself to want to engage with you again and so NECA was like kind of getting defensive about it saying well you know I've apologized to her like what more does she want and you know just all this other stuff and so Kiana is trying to explain to her people do things in their own way just because maybe you're over it and want to move past it she's not ready so then uh, what? Uh, sorry, y'all. So then NECA is like, well, I feel like you're stirring the pot and like you just kind of need to stay out of it. And so she's like, like, what? Hold on, wait. Let me fix my wig and myself because I'm so tired of everybody talking about some. Hold on. And so Kiana's like, first of all, don't, you know, basically come at me like that. I'm just having a conversation and you're taking it to the left. So then NECA starts catching an attitude with her. Girl, a mess. And I'm just like, this vacation, They, I'm trying to think, y'all, besides playing golf and eating, what did they really do? No fun excursions, like nothing. I don't know what is going on. But, um, yeah, this season, this is just my rant. I'm not even going to really, it's really nothing more for me to even say. These two episodes weren't that good. Uh, Potomac, and I don't want to be negative. I'm just not a negative person, but I'm very just disappointed in this. Um, it is clear as day these women just can't stand each other. And honestly, when Giselle's not around, they kind of all get along, even with Robin being there. But if you take those two out, they actually get along. And I don't like y'all know I don't I don't particularly care for Ashley at all. And it's just like, instead of Giselle wanting to bring the group together, she is happy with it being apart and being devi uh, divisive because Giselle thinks she runs the show. That's the problem. Like, she really thinks she runs Potomac. Like, she's a producer. And it's like, no, because at the end of the day, anybody can be replaced. You are not one show, and you cannot carry a show by yourself. She can't nobody could but there needs to be some cast shakeups, y'all next season i don't want to see a lot of these women back i don't even want to see mia i'm tired of her i i never really cared for her they need to do a revamp because this show is not doing well i don't even know what how the ratings are right now but they need to do something about it but guys, that's just my little rant on episodes 14 and 15. It really wasn't much. Basically, Giselle mad because Wendy and Candace were making faces. They didn't say anything disrespectful about her daughter. And it's not like they were making faces while Giselle's talking about her daughter. They're just irritated with her just from her talking because they don't like her. And clearly Giselle doesn't like them. That's why. And they know darn well had nothing to do with Giselle's daughter. So Robin, for you to even sit up there and say that and actually put your two cents in it is ridiculous. And I'm so tired of this mean girl stuff. Like
but y'all too old for this. It makes no sense. And honestly, Candace and Wendy want the show to work for the greater good. They can see beyond the pettiness and the not liking someone. You cannot like somebody, but you can still effectively work with them. And Giselle does not do that. And so I heard that Giselle got, what, like third seat at the reunion? So this could be a message to her like, look, chick, we've let you get away with so much stuff. You are becoming the cause and the demise of this group. We just want to let you know <laughs> that you aren't too far off from being replaced. Like, you don't run this show. And it needs to be a clear message to her because, like, who do you think you are? But anyway, y'all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I can't say another one of my recaps. I'm just going to say a rant slash recap of episodes 14 and 15, which are Sons and Buns Out. And I think, what was it? Fool's Gold? I don't know, y'all. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can be informed whenever I upload a new video. And also, too, please comment below. Tell me your thoughts on episodes 14 and 15. And thank you guys. And of course, before you go, I'd love to say a prayer over you. And so, here it goes. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord give you his favor, peace, and protection. This is my prayer over your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you on my next recap. And yeah, bye.